Hi everyone, it's Nicholas Bafidis from the Junior Senior School in Nicosia, Cyprus. I'm back with a very popular requested video and this is all about how do we email all the students which are members of our class team. Now this is not about sending an email to a channel in Teams, but this is about sending an email to all the members, all the students which are a member of a class team. Now, I'd like to stress that this, this is only for class teams. It does not work for staff teams or any of the other type of teams. So what do I mean by this? Let's get started. So first of all, when we create a class team, so we have four different options of teams. This method would only work for a class team, okay? It doesn't work for a staff team or for the other two, a professional learning community or other. It only works for this. And the main reason it doesn't work for staff teams is because inboxes by default are hidden. So that group inbox is hidden by default. So this only works for the class teams. Okay, so how do we get started with this? Well, all we really need is to be able to find the original, the primary email address associated with the class team itself. So how do we do this? Well, here we can see I've got a number of teams here. I'm going to be using this one here. It's called test space team space two. Now, if I go to uh, now under normal circumstances, if I've never renamed this team, it's not an issue. All I have to do to generate the primary email address is to take the name of the team and remove the spaces. So this one will be test team two without any spaces at the domain of the school. But we tend to, as educators, instead of generating new teams each term, we tend to rename teams. Now, when we rename a team, the actual name of the team is not changed. So the primary email address with that team is not changed either. So let's just have a look and see how we find that primary email address. So I'm going to go to the general section here. I'm going to go to files. And then from here, I'm going to click on uh, this link here, open in SharePoint. Now, when I click on this, it's actually going to open this folder location in SharePoint. And that's what I want to do. So let's move over to this screen. There we go. And I'm going to open up my magnifier very quickly here so we can actually see just a little bit better. Okay, so if we now have a look, this is opened up in uh, SharePoint. If we look at the top in the address bar, we can identify two things. First of all, here is the primary domain of the school. Now, this is the junior school. And when 365 was actually registered, it was registered with the primary domain, the junior school. And we have a number of domains as well, the senior school, the junior and senior school. And now we've got our primary fixed domain, which is tjss.ac.cy. So to know which is the primary domain, the domain which was used to register your 365 account, we can see that right here straight after the HTTPS. So my email address is going to end with at thejuniorschool.com. Now, what's the first part, the email name? Well, if we move along straight after the word sharepoint.com slash sites slash, so after the site slash, we can see the email name here. It's test team two without any spaces. So if we go back to our screen over here and we have a look, there it is. It was test space team space two. It's actually exactly the same without any spaces. So how can we know what the actual email address is if at some point we've renamed our team? Okay, now, if you renamed it a while ago, then you're not going to probably remember what the original name was. So we find the actual email address exactly the same way. So this team here, this one here, which is IGCSE option two, or underscore option two, underscore 2021, underscore NP, originally was just uh, the same name without the underscore NP. So let's say I can't remember that. I'm going to do exactly the same process before. I'm going to click on general. And I'm going to go again to the files section at the top. So there's my file section. And from here, I'm going to go to opening SharePoint. So exactly the same process as before. So if we change screens now and we come over here, you can see it's actually opened the SharePoint for this team here. And now we can go again to the address bar. So let's click here and see what we've got. The domain again is the junior school, of course. It's exactly the same as before. So that will be the junior school.com. 
for the actual email name, there it is there. It's IGCSE option two 2021 with the underscores. The underscore NP is missing because this is what I named this team the first time I created it. So that's its primary email address. Okay, so that's all we really need. We just need to find the primary name, the original name of the team, and that will be the email address that we're going to use to send to all our students. So let's proceed with that. So from here, I'm just going to close this magnifier now very quickly. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to show you here. I've got a student uh, account here. There we go. So here I've logged in with a student account. This is student4 at tjss.ac.cy. As you can see, we've got different domains. Uh, the primary domain that our school was registered with was the junior school, but now our final domain that we're all using is tjss.ac.cy. So we can see here there's nothing in the inbox. I've deleted the inbox so we can see any emails popping in or populating very easily. So let's go back to my email account now. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to create a new message. So all I need to do is to send an email to my primary email of my team. So if I'm using the test team two, that's going to be test team two. You can see it's found it. And you can see it's at the juniorschool.com. So I can either select that or just finish typing that in. School.com. And you can see it's actually, oh, there you go. Now, okay, that's just what I just typed this wrong. I didn't put the dot com, and you can see that the, the the profile picture here, the little icon here, doesn't represent the the icon for the team. So I'm just going to delete that, and th this is actually a good indicator to know that this is going to work because it actually finds your team and it actually puts the icon for your team, the profile picture, at the juniorschool.com. There we go. Okay, and when I press enter, there you go. You can see it's actually using, and if I go back, you can see that there's my, there's the icon for this uh, team. Okay, so let's move over here again. So this is from my account. I'm just going to write the subject. Um, I don't know, test date moved. And I'm just going to write the simple message to my students. Let's say here, which is the test date has been postponed to next Monday. Okay, students are going to be really happy about that. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on send. And once I've done that, we're going to switch over to the student account, which I've got open here, and we can see that actually being popular. So that's being sent. Oh, there you go. It's popped up immediately. You can see that my student has received this email. It's got test date moved. And there's my email. So you can see that was really quick. And every student in this team will now would have received this email. Okay. So um, just to do a quick recap, this only works with the class team. I'm going to demonstrate very quickly with a, a staff test team as well. Okay. So if we look at the, the team, there you go. It's called staff test team. Okay. So this is the original name which I was using and it just doesn't have the spaces so let's try and send an email to that now so let's just close the magnifier and i'm going to go to my email and i'm going to create a new message so this is going to go to staff oops there we go staff test oh it's found it there already can you see staff test team at the junior school.com there we go and i'm going to just call this test staff message there we go uh just this will not be received because i know it's not going to be received um okay and we said this is because uh, for staff uh, teams it's actually the, the, the it's actually hidden by default the mailboxes so if i click on send and now i go to my student you can see i'm going to be waiting here um, although on my end it looks like uh, it has been sent it won't actually ever be received. So this actually only works with class teams. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure you ring that bell. And if you want to keep up to date with any other videos I'll be posting, make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.